During my time at Clearwater Music last summer, there was a particular student model trombone that I developed quite an affinity for, but when I returned to do a review on it, unfortunately it was gone. Just my luck. But one of these just passed through the shop, and so here we are now. Stay tuned. Hey there everybody, this is your host Sam here from the Samuel Plays Brass channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for tuning in to another impromptu issue of Scholastic Brass Month. This was not really a planned video for me to do, but again I saw that this trombone came through the shop and I just had to do a review on it. This is a review on my old favorite, the King Model 606 Student Model Tenor Trombone. <laughs> This instrument's serial number is in the 972,000 range, which if we look at this Con Selmer chart of King serial numbers, we'll notice that puts its date of manufacture around 1984. I've played several King instruments from the late 70s and early 80s, and it seems to be a pretty good era for them. They tend to be really, really solid horns, so this is no exception to the count. As was the case with the King 618 French horn that I reviewed, full video up in the card, this particular 606 is maybe not much for the eyes to savor. I really like the look of this trombone, but it's pretty run-of-the-mill. The best feature about these old Kings is their beautiful vintage lacquer. New Kings are not going to have quite the same effect, but some of the older King stuff has this beautiful yellow tint to it. It's not just the brass, the lacquer itself kind of turns this honey color, which is really interesting. It's a really beautiful effect, but unfortunately there are large chunks of it missing, like there was on the 618 French horn. In any case, we see the King lettering on the counterweight where it's been somewhat scratched off, and also on the bell along with the little crown logo that I like. It's got a 500 bore or 0.5 inches on the dot, 0.500 with three significant figures, and an 8 inch bell. These are very standard specifications for jazz trombones and you'll see that on the Jupiter JTB 700, once again full video up in the card. This instrument has a standard yellow brass outer slide with chrome plated and nickel inner slides, but what's interesting is if we look at the newer King 606s, which are technically part of the Con Selmer company and made in Eastlake, Ohio rather than Cleveland, we'll actually see nickel outer slides. Now unfortunately, playability wise, my experiences with this 606 were not the same as my experiences with last year's 606. They're two different instruments manufactured at two different times, and so we have to consider them a little bit separately, especially considering each has its own degree of wear and damage done to it. But as for this 606, it wasn't quite as easy of a blow as the other one, and certainly not as much as some modern tenor trombones I've played. That's the drawback with some of the old stuff, is sometimes it's built like a tank and you really have to push for things. But when it comes to pushing for things, I found the higher register kind of locked up on me, interestingly, if I tried to push for it, rather than just kind of let it happen at softer dynamics. And that's not typically my experience with trombone, and so that was a little bit weird to feel. What was interesting was actually some of the alternate higher positions, uh, r rather positions that were lower on the slide for higher notes, such as sharp fourth or sixth for F, actually did feel fairly open. So it, it's fairly nice at the end of the slide. Again, something interesting to note there. Um, low register feels about as open as you would expect it to on a typical pea shooter, and the pedals have all the typical blat to them. <laughs> Now, if at this point in the video you're not listening with earbuds or headphones, but rather your phone speakers, I would strongly suggest you go get some, because the sound of the King 606 is the reason you play one. This trombone gets as close as you can with a student model to the quintessential vintage jazz sound, and I think you'll hear what I mean in this clip. Now it's not just bright, swing sort of stuff that it's good at, this trombone has great ballad potential too.
And so for anything, you know, 40s through 60s, this trombone is a winner in terms of sound quality. I really enjoy it, and that's why I like this 606, even if it doesn't play quite as easily as the other one or some other trombones I've played. The sound doesn't break up very easily when you push it to be bright. There are a lot of trombones that run on the same specifications and material composition and everything that really just seem to get angry in terms of sound quality if you push them to be too bright. And sure, that's good for metal bands, but sometimes not the jazz band. And so the King 606 really does maintain its composure of sound even when you play fairly loud or fairly bright. In general, I would say it's a fuller sound than a lot of other pea shooters I've played. You get a kind of wider spectrum of frequencies. It tends towards the darker side, especially if you use something other than like a 12C or something extremely shallow. In this video, I was using a gold-plated Dennis Wick 6BS, which is fairly close to a 6.5 AL, but probably a little bit deeper. And so things were tending towards the darker side, but this trombone can do just about anything you ask it to. Now I've mentioned multiple times in this video that this 606 doesn't play quite as well as the one I played last year. And that's unfortunately something you do have to worry about with secondhand trombones, really from any maker. It's tough to find any sense of consistency even outside of user wear, when these makers have sometimes changed manufacturers or manufacturing plants or what have you over the years and the decades and sometimes more than a century that they've been around. So it's really tough to find two 606s that play the exact same. If you're in the market for a 606 yourself, I would advise erring on the older side of things, earlier serial numbers. Just because, and this is a, a contentious point to make, I feel like a lot of the time older student trombones have more character to their sound and you can get a little bit more out of them in terms of sound quality. The newer stuff sometimes is a little bit more mass produced and might have a sound that fits the mold of the typical beginning band a little bit better and so is a better beginner instrument than the vintage ones that also don't play quite as easily, but in any case, I really have a soft spot for King's older stuff. And not just because of that yellowed lacquer, but that's also a plus. In any case, if it's not clear enough to you already, I am giving the 606 a nice hearty Sam seal of approval. I've really enjoyed playing on this horn, even if it's not quite as good as the other one I played. And in any case, it's just a lot of fun to play, just thanks to that sound, even if the playability experience is subpar. Keep in mind, of course, that the 606 is mostly going to be used in jazz, and it's not going to be as useful in other scenarios, but it does have its other uses, such as being a beginner instrument, especially the newer ones that are going to play a little bit more easily and sound right for the wind band rather than the jazz band. But you can also use some of the older ones in alternative groups that require brass, such as, you know, ska, pop, rock, funk, any of those. I think the King 606 has a nice character of sound that can fit into any one of those if you need it to. I hope you've enjoyed my little love letter to the King 606 and learned a thing or two in the process. If you have, make sure to leave a like and a comment on this video, and check to see that you're subscribed below. A lot of my viewers are not subscribed at this point, so if you could, that would really mean a lot. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, which I do think we can do, but we can't do it without your help, so thank you for your consideration. This has been Sam of Samuel Plays Brass, once again reviewing the King Model 606 Student Trombone, and until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.